Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Bed leveling is a process that is almost synonymous with witchcraft with many a maker in woe that they don't have it leveled right. You would need to do this the first time you assemble a printer or you went off level as you tapped it the wrong way. Well, in this video, I tried to dissipate some of the misconceptions and show you how easy it really is. So let's do this. 3D printer bed leveling is an important uh, step when you first put your 3D printer together or even good as a regular maintenance. The more level your bed is, the better the prints that you get off it as the printing plane as in the nozzle are in the same height. So what is bed leveling? We all know that FDM 3D printers work by depositing and extruding filament uh, from a nozzle onto a heated bed. But when using a metal bed, there are chances as whenever the metal is heated, it might warp causing some areas to be higher than the others and some can even be lower. I have the Ender 3 with me. The process of leveling is the same on most FTM printers, so don't worry. This video, even though shown on an Ender 3, is not specific to it. That said, let's start. To level the bed, we need to place the nozzle on every corner of the bed to test if that section is level or not. For this, I have a G-code file shared which would help place the nozzle in each corner. Download the file into a micro SD card ready to use with your printer. You will need an A4 size sheet, maybe cut it down to a small square to make it easier to work with. Under the bed, we have these knobs. These can tighten and loosen up. As we tighten, the bed is pulled down, effectively moving it away from the nozzle. And if we loosen it, it brings it closer to the nozzle. This is the same for each corner. To move the nozzle to each corner, we need to run the appropriate command. Now for the actual leveling. Run the file on the 3D printer. The nozzle homes and then lifts, moving to position 1 and drops. I use a standard A4 sheet, slide it under the nozzle. If it's not moving under, tighten the knob and slide the paper underneath. Now loosen the knob slowly and keep sliding the paper back and forth until you reach a point where the paper is held back by the nozzle with significant resistance. Not too much resistance that it can't slide out, but it should just about hold down the paper and be able to slide around. Now press the button to move the nozzle to the next position. Continue with the same process on all four corners. Position 5 would be the center of the bed. Adjust all the four corner knobs equally until the resistance on the center position feels just right. Tap on the button and test the four corners again. Once done, the bed should be level. I'm using Chep's bed level print, which is a nice set of uh, rectangles that is always drawn in a concentric pattern. And the main test would be if you try to actually remove or uh, push the filament off, it won't come off that easily because it is adhered to the bed properly, which would mean that it is at the right height. You can also adjust the knobs while it is printing to level the bed as per how the print is coming along. The print gives you a visual indication of how well the bed is leveled and if the nozzle is at the correct height or not. If there is no print or the print is coming out too light, the nozzle is too close to the bed. Adjust and you should start seeing clean lines. Let's test using these leveling squares provided by Hobby Hoarder, available on Thingiverse. The same can be found in the description. This is for 200 by 200 size beds, other sizes are also available. Check the print quality on each of the squares. If there are a lot of gaps in one square, you need to raise the bed on that side by loosening the knob. If the squares are scratched or damaged while printing, the bed is too high and you will need to lower the bed. Keep doing this until all the squares print perfectly and that's it, your 3D printer bed is now level. Using a glass bed helps remove warping as potential problems as glass is always flat and I use a glass bed on my 3D printer. As I have the BLTech automatic bed leveling, it takes care of the minor imperfections in the bed level. The process of leveling the bed is the same on most FDM printers so I hope this video helped with your bed leveling on your printers. And if you have any questions, you can always write in to me at tech at talkingstuff.net or WhatsApp me at 96525 78833. Also make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.